Hey students, it's me, Miss P. What are we talking about this week? You may ask. Well, I'll tell you. We're going to talk a little bit about jazz, just briefly, because there's lots and lots to talk about with jazz. Jazz originated in New Orleans in the early 1900s in Black communities. I have a music teacher friend, actually, who calls jazz the only true American art form, which I think is interesting. So we are going to be making an instrument that's used by a lot of jazz musicians like um, Louis Armstrong, Miles Davis, and Dizzy Gillespie, and that is a trumpet. Now, what did I use to make this trumpet, you may ask? I used construction paper, scissors, a glue stick, watercolor, and crayons. That should be it. I used a pencil to trace out my shapes. And yeah, that's just about it. If you don't have watercolor, of course you don't have to use watercolor. Um, use whatever you have at home. I would like you to try to cut this out or make this shape. It's actually easier to cut out the shapes for this than it is to draw a trumpet. Just want you to keep that in mind while making this project. So what do I want from you for this project? I want you to draw music notes in the background. I want you to create a flowing background. And I want you to make uh, take your best attempt at creating a trumpet on your paper. Um, and I say this because you can draw it, you can cut it out, um, anything you can do to make it look nice and like a trumpet. I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So let's get started. All right, everybody. So I'm gonna start out by pulling um, out some scrap paper and my watercolors, and I'm gonna do like a nice flowing watercolor pattern across my half sheet of paper that I have right here. So I picked out some reds and some oranges and some yellows to fill the background of my paper, and then later I'm gonna put my trumpet in in blue to kind of contrast that. I would recommend doing a contrast too, although you don't have to. Um, and by contrast, I mean complementary colors like blue and orange or orange or uh, yellow and purple or red and green, except red and green. I thought about red and green, but it looked kind of Christmassy. So I decided to do these flowing colors um, and blue on the top. So as you can see now, I'm layering that and covering up the whole page with my watercolors. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing multiple layers just to make sure it's nice and bright and covered. But that's it. Um, I just wanted my background to be flowy because I wanted it to represent music and all that good stuff. So that's why it's just sort of loose. As you can see here, I have a piece of construction paper that I already drew something on the back of it. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut out three strips, like long rectangle sheet, uh, pieces of paper. And I think they're about five inches. They don't have to be exactly the same thickness uh, because it's pretty loose. You can see here that I'm sort of making a rectangle in my paper. Um, just to map out that shape, I think I'm gonna cut out that rectangle and show you what's going to happen next. 
So we're going to be rounding the corners of this rectangle that we made. So you'll see me doing that here. I'm just taking the corners and I'm making them a little bit more circular so we don't have those sharp edges. And this is gonna be the uh, inner tubing for my trumpet. So I'm gonna draw a shape similar to the outside on the inside here. And then since my paper is folded, you can see, I'm gonna cut out that U shape and I'm gonna cut out those edges on the edge of the rectangle. So my tubing is like a rounded shape as it would be on a trumpet. So now I have that shape here, and so the strips I cut out before, those three rectangles, those are called the valves of the trumpet, I think. The sort of buttons that you push down to make different sounds. I don't know much about trumpets, but here we go. There are our valves, and we want to make sure that our valves are going over the top and the bottom of that middle brass tubing of our trumpet. So you want to make sure that they're a little bit longer than the tubing, the circular part is wide. So you can see there that mine are a little bit longer and that'll work perfectly for my purposes. All right, next I need to make the horn part of my trumpet. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that horn part and I'm starting out pretty wide over here and then I go inward. This doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm doing that. And so it's like sort of a funnel at the end for the horn part. And I'm trying to make that a little bit straighter. It is totally far from perfect, but you know, what are you gonna do? And now I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, so that part is cut out and I'm gonna erase some of the pencil lines that I might have just because I can't flip it over because there were drawings on the other side. And now I'm going to arrange all my pieces so we can sort of see what it would look like all put together. Okay, so now I let my paper dry a little bit, my watercolor paper, and I wasn't totally satisfied with how it looked. So I went and I took some crayons and I did some lines on the inside. So kind of looks like a music scale, but not totally. But I just wanted to add some flow to this background I made with some lines, and I am also going to end up drawing some music notes on this piece of paper. So now you can see I'm drawing those music notes, just whatever music notes I can think of around here. And I want to indicate more that this is supposed to be a flowy musical background. So that's why I'm doing those music notes. Okay, now I have those three strips of paper. And I'm gonna take my glue stick and start gluing those down. And now I have all of the valves glued down, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue my trumpet brass tubing on there. Just pretty much um, in the middle of those valves, so you have about the same amount uh, sticking out from either side. You can see me moving it down so it's a little bit more equidistant, as one would say. And then I'm positioning my horn on the top of that brass tubing, so you can still see the valves, the rectangles, sticking up over the top there. And um, later I decided to add some details. You'll see here that I'm taking that oval that I cut out of my brass tubing and I'm gonna cut off the top and the bottom of that because I thought they would make nice little, you know, a nice little uh, mouthpiece shape or some nice valves for the horns. 
So I'm taking those from either side and then I'm going to sort of make another one similar to the ones that I just cut off the side by cutting a rectangle and then cutting two of the edges off that rectangle. And I'm going to glue all of those on. And then I'm cutting a little mouthpiece for my trumpet right at the end. I'm making a trapezoid of sorts. You don't have to do this part. Um, I just thought it looked a little bit nicer with this. So I'm gonna glue all of these pieces down now. I'm taking a crayon and what I'm doing is I'm kind of contouring the shape so it looks a little bit more like that brass. I'm doing that with a darker blue and you can see I'm sort of outlining those edges but I'm making them thick and rounded to give it sort of the effect of metal. Now I'm just about done. I hope you enjoy this project and I will talk to you soon. Bye!